Hi there. Welcome to another edition of the GBP Business Hour on Fusion Plus. I'm your host, Samuel Ibanjo, here to take you through a dynamic hour full of fun, excitement, and lots and lots of insight into the world of business. Today, my guest is a specialist in the area of finance, and he's going to share with us how we can keep our finances within the family. But before we go to our guest, as my usual custom is, I just want to give you a, f a brief synopsis of why we're doing this, why we're here, and why we're projecting into your homes right here tonight from um, London. And that's because our passion and our dream is to make sure that every single family out there has an opportunity to galvanize their finances, do their business, and maximize their lifestyles so that for you, for your children and your loved ones, you can have a, a lifestyle with lots and lots of disposable income. Now, to do this, we need to delve into the area of business. If anyone's heard of um, Richard Kawasaki and his cash flow quadrant, you would have heard him talk about four corners. Employment, self-employment, business, and investment. These are the four quadrants of life. And for you to maximize your cash flow, you need to firstly find out where you're positioned and then you need to figure out where you want to go. So for most people, they want to either leave their jobs and become self-employed. And for other people, they want to own their own business. And for other people, they just want to invest. Wherever it is that you want to be, on this hour here on Fusion Plus, we're here to help you and we're here to make sure that we can bring extra leverage to your business ideas. So stay with me, we're gonna take a short break, but when I come back, I'm gonna speak about the business club itself and about my guests who will talk to us about our finances. So we'll come back to you shortly after this advertisement break. Let's go. Rah. Smell like a million dollars, that's my creed. Transform the rap in Optimus Primo. Catch me smashing your girlfriend on the D low. Evo girls loving me like I'm Fino. It's like I'm beating down the track the way I punch lines. I'm in the mood to eat these rappers, now it's lunchtime. Put the team on my back when it's wartime. EME General, I'm on the front line. Half this again in the game are only pretenders Act dropped a couple features, already a crown contender King. Rapper scared of R&B, dude might hurt him <laughs> All you I'm just pulling your skirt up No illegitimate kids, so they call you gay While I'm in the baddest bras each and every day Money talk, so you shouldn't have to say No, the whole wide world, I did it my way You try to run me down But you know can't nobody do it like In the mind, cause finish running the game, boy. I tell them stay off my business. Will never be the same. I come all about my paper. No get time for this lame. Even as I get your web for tired, the mention of my name. Yeah, my name is Maya. Hachina mola la no kwa mua kuka no arulu Hachibu muzo garu When they mess around with me I get nigi kajima no ma bia polu Get gumbo sobo na ika bia lo gimbalo Up all night, he ain't not trouble that do But it's so funny how that do not turn to some friends it's too full But that chore of me ma wane me I just keep it down the low I like to see my jewelry on whenever I'm eating yo I'm down on the post, I didn't cause my god proposed And I'm shining all these haters like I'm Hi, welcome back to the GBP Business Hour. I'm with my guest here tonight, um, Cedric. He's a financial advisor with Unishore. But before we actually speak to him, like I said earlier, I want to give you a few more insights into GBP and why we're here. Now, I was saying earlier before the break that we want to make sure that as much as possible, people benefit and maximize their lifestyles in business. And to do that, one thing you have to do is you need to be visible. 
And by visibility, I mean people need to know that your business is out there, what you do, how you do, and how to connect with you. That is, that, 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 that is one of the key nuggets and the reasons why we have marketing, PR, and sales, really, for people to know who you are, what your service is, and how to buy it. In GBP, we call ourselves a family, and we believe that one thing we should always do is buy from each other and sell to each other so that that money circulates within our community at least seven times. So if you want to know more about how we do this, please visit our website, which is www.greatbusinessplatforms.com, and you can flick on any of the links there, and it will tell you how you can join us, what we stand for, what our vision is, and where we have our local meetings. And if for those of you in London, we have three local meetings. One is on Old Kent Road, which takes, which uh, another chapter takes place this month on Thursday, the 26th of March. We have another one in Northwest London on Watford Way in a place called Mama Africa. That will be taking place next month. And there's another one on, um, in, in, sorry, in Wimbledon, Southwest London on Hayden Road. And we have one branch outside London, which is in Milton Keynes at the Agora Centre. So if you're interested in any of these ones, please go to our website, www.greatbusinessplatforms, and look up our calendar, and you will have much more information. Right, enough about that now. I'd like to introduce my guest for the night, Cedric. Hi there. Hi, Sam. How are you doing? Very well. Thank you for coming in for this show. A pleasure. Pleasure. Pleasure is all mine. Yeah? So, yeah. so, so you, you know... Um, before we started today, yeah. we were talking about finances and the family, and we said, look, yeah. we're going to have a show around this. Mm -hmm. So my question is, when I was a boy, mm -hmm. my mother, the way we used to keep finances in the family was, she used to just take a piece of whatever we earned, mm -hmm. and she used to hide it away. Mm -hmm. So whether it was money, mm -hmm. put some under the carpet, mm -hmm. some in the bank, mm -hmm. some inside some of her clothes, but she had a method. Mm -hmm. So if there was a rainy day or something happened, we could always go and say, right, there's some money here or there's some money there. Or if, or if she wasn't, if there was no work, there was, she, she just had her style, mm -hmm. where she could just pull out money from and be like, mommy, thank God for you. You always have a way of, you know, pulling out money from secret places. Mm -hmm. But today things have changed. Yeah. I want you to tell us and our viewers, how can we help to keep money in the family? Bearing in mind that most of the parents that we're speaking to tonight are employed mm -hmm. or self-employed. Yeah. Over to you. Yeah, well, thank you very much, Sam, first of all, for the introduction and also for inviting me. It's always a pleasure to sit next to you, have uh, some very fruitful and productive conversation. Thank you for the GBP as well. Great idea. Honestly, I've been following you everywhere seeing how it works, how it's going, and I believe, I mean, you're trying to take things to a different level. You're trying to help people grow together, help the diaspora, and, I mean, it's very amazing what you do to help the community. Thank you. Now, what I want to talk about is an area where in the diaspora, sometimes we can be a bit hesitant, we can put our trust, I don't know if I should say in the wrong place, but we can put our trust away from our people for while around us we have educated people, people that have studied the matter, people that know a lot about insurances that can help, basically, yeah, like I said, the word insurance. The only, like you said something that's very interesting, and I like that, when you say your mother used to hide money everywhere and all that, yeah. and when there was a problem, she would just go and dig in some money. Yeah. But when you think about that, it depends on the problem, Sam. Mm. It depends on the problem, because some problem will push you to go and dig into your savings. But you're saving money for a reason. Sometimes you're saving money because you want your children to go to the best university. Sometimes you're saving money towards buying another property. Sometimes you're saving money towards building a house somewhere. Now, another way to protect your income, protect your finances, is insurance. It's insurance. And nowadays, today, I've, I'm quite happy with what's going on in the community, in our, our people, because more and more people get insured. More and more people have insurance. But also more and more people do have, do not have the correct insurance. But hold, hold on, can I say something? Something like, you, you're talking about insurance. Mm. You, when you have a bank account, you, mm. you get insurance. So the banks give us insurance. Great, okay. So, so what are you talking about? Okay, the thing is, that's what I'm saying. Like the bank, 
bank is good for investment, for putting and withdrawing money. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say banks are not good for insurance, okay. but banks are, are not qualified advisors. Bank, they'll tell you, okay, you can have this. Bank, they will recommend you to take insurance. They are allowed to offer you an insurance product, but they cannot advise you as much as I, an insurance advisor, can do to help you pick and choose the correct insurance. You know, I was reading an article a couple of days ago where it says that a lot of providers now, they even give insurance advisor like myself a better rate for the simple fact that the risk is lower. Because my job is to make sure that when you do have insurance, we do what we call a review, we can have a look at it. And then I can advise people on, okay, look, this is what you have, but this will not really cover. Say, for example, I'm going to meet a self-employed guy, he's a farmer, and he told me, oh, don't worry, uh, I've got all my insurance covered. And I asked him, okay, what kind of insurance do you have? And he goes, oh, no. If anything happened to me today, whatever he is, my bank will look after me. And I told him, look, sir, there's nothing like whatever it is in terms of insurances. You must have a certain type of policies, income protection, critical illness, life cover, home insurance. You know, it, it has to be defined. And he couldn't really tell me what sort of insurances and he had during the conversation. And I told him, OK, sir, do you know what? Why don't you organize a meeting? Let me come and see you, sit down with you. Have a look at it. If you do have a proper and correct insurance, of course I'll advise you, yeah, they're correct. But if I believe there's a need that can be fulfilled there, then I'll come in, make a proposition. That's what we always do. At Unishow, one of our biggest strengths is to do fantastic review where we can save individuals' money, where we can put clients in a better place in terms of insurances. Let, let me stop you. Yeah. There's a few things you've said, but the last one, you mentioned was save people money. Yeah. The other thing you said that was interesting was banks recommend yeah. you advise. Yeah. You know, so can you just go back again? Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting down at home. I'm very busy. Yeah. I've got my own work to do. My work isn't to sit down and study all these insurance policies. Yeah, yeah. Half the time, I'm not even sure about them. Yeah. I might not even want them. And I think some of these people are rip-offs anyway. Yeah. What is the difference between someone recommending insurance to me and someone advising me, A, and then B, if I've received the policy already, yeah. how can you save money on it? So what I mean is, well, if someone says to me, your house insurance or your life insurance is 50 pounds a month mm. and I'm going to get 1 million pounds if anything happens to me, mm -hmm. how can you save money? What, it, 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 Am I going to get less money later? What do you mean? Can you okay. go a bit further? You, you've stated, you've touched something that is very important, and I thank you for that again. When you say between somebody that recommend and somebody that advise, okay, okay. I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. You want to buy a car. Okay. Yeah? You're not a mechanic. Okay. Yeah? You love the car. Mm -hmm. And uh, you go and talk to somebody, they say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've got the same Mercedes. Okay, oh, where did, oh, no, the Mercedes is a nice car. I recommend it to you. Buy it. Mm. Okay? And then you go to a mechanic. Mm -hmm. The mechanic will tell you, okay, this particular Mercedes is not bad, but it has a lot of problems. You have to be careful with the engine. You have to check, you know, anything inside, if everything is proper before you buy the car. Which one would you follow? The mechanic that knows more about engine, about car function, or the person that just drive the car you want to buy? I'll go with the mechanic. Why? Because he's giving me more insight. Okay. He will give you more insight because he'll go inside the car to make sure the car is really proper and does not have any problems. I'll give you a simple example. When we recommend people to take a life insurance, we make sure they put it in a trust. We always advise them, look, put it in a trust because there's the inheritance that anything above 325,000 pounds of asset Anything above that is taxable. So we always make sure we tell clients... Stop, you're going too fast. Yeah. So mm. you're saying if someone has an insurance policy mm -hmm. that is worth more than £325,000 mm. and that person unfortunately dies, mm. the insurance policy will be taxed. Okay. It could be... When I say, when I say asset, okay. Say, for example, mm -hmm. you've got three properties. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. You've got a life insurance worth £800,000. Mm -hmm. You've got a saving account. We've got all this around. Mm -hmm. They will all be part of your asset. Because what's happened is the insurance will be paid into your account. Mm -hmm. So it becomes part of your asset. Mm -hmm. Now, when all your assets, if, if you've never done a will, mm -hmm. or if you've not protected mm -hmm. your asset, mm -hmm. they could be eligible to tax because so of... You, so, so you're saying that after the person has passed away, mm -hmm. the, the, the spouse is waiting for... Eight hundred thousand pounds hmm. from the insurance. It comes into the account, yeah. and you're saying that that insurance hmm. could be taxed. Could be eligible to tax. Say, for example, you know we're African. You are married. Say you've done a traditional wedding hmm. and you've not done the mm -hmm. white wedding, and then, for example, your asset has to go, for example, to the children. Mm -hmm. That's the next generation. Mm -hmm. That's when the inheritance tax comes because it goes to the next generation. Okay, so, so what can you do about it? We put it in a trust. We make sure, we tell the client, you need to protect... No, stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Let me make this very simple. Mm. You put it in a trust, it mm. doesn't mean anything. It does. What, what, no, no, no. You know what I mean by that? I mean, what does putting it in a trust mean? What is the benefit for that person? Because you said you put it in a trust, but if people don't know what trusts are, yeah. they don't know... What yeah. the value the what trust is. is a document mm -hmm. that make your life insu your insurance mm -hmm. not be part of your asset because now you've answered yeah, the question. You name mm -hmm. the beneficiary. Now so, you've answered the question. Okay. <laughs> so the money goes straight <laughs> now to you, the beneficiary. Now I'm interested in what you're saying. <laughs> well, you see, uh -huh. what, what, okay, I do understand where you were coming mm -hmm. from, but that's what I said. The first thing people need to know is it's always better to be advice than just to be recommended. So so what you're saying to me now mm. is that you've given me a live example mm. of why advice mm. can be more beneficial than recommendation. Mm -hmm. For example, you've given the example around the life insurance, mm -hmm. the trust, and the non-taxing of it mm. for the children mm. of the deceased. Mm. I like that. I, I'm interested in this now. So keep on going. I'm listening. Okay. <laughs> okay. Also, like things like income protection mm -hmm. is very good for self-employed people. Okay. Number one, because when you self-employed and register, you know, because mm -hmm. we have self-employed that do not register the business, mm -hmm. but we have those that register the business. Mm -hmm. We can protect the taxable, the declared income of your business. Mm -hmm up to 70 percent now again on that area i met a client no long ago that told me oh i'm fine cedric i've got an income protection and she was paying a lot of money mm -hmm. and i told her okay how long do you have to wait before you can claim she told me three months and i told her okay what kind of disease probably if you have an accident you might be off work for three months mm -hmm. but three months would you be able to leave for the next three months and she said oh probably i'm gonna have to touch on my saving and i said okay why would you touch on your saving if I can give you the exact same income protection you have, cover you on day one. So from the day you have the accident or from the day you off work for accident or sickness, we can put money, food on your table. So life can no, no, carry no, no, no. on. Stop, we're going too fast. Yeah. So what you're saying hmm. is that as an advisor, hmm. you have a policy mm -hmm. that if you're employed mm -hmm. or self-employed, mm -hmm. There is a policy that can protect your income mm -hmm. if you fall sick. sick or some sort of accident. Mm -hmm. And for that period, so for that 30 day period, for, so for that next mortgage coming out, mm -hmm. the bills, the gas, you have a policy mm -hmm. that can cover that. Yeah, we do have a policy that we call income protection and we work with one of few, I mean, I'm not allowed to name advice provider because we've got many of them. Mm -hmm. I cannot start naming all of them because the one that I wouldn't name would no, be No, that. but I, I think what's, yeah. in, what's more important is I think, the, to the people is that you have a policy. Yeah, I do have a policy that can cover people from day one when they're how off much, work. How much money? Well, it depends. It depends on the age. It depends on the condition of the person, if the person is ill. It depends on a lot of things. That's why I say we, that's why I said advising is better because I had a client that was, I think, two years ago. She bought a policy. And uh, she was like, no, Cedric, I'm fine, I'm fine, I've got a policy, I told her, look. And she's very close to, like, a mother. And I said, look, mom, let me have a look at least. And when I had a look at her policy, I said, okay, 
But you to she thought she had like half a million cover and she only had 100,000 pounds. That wasn't really the big deal to me. The big deal to me was when I start looking at the policy and I ask her, do you have any medical condition? She said, oh no, I'm fine. It just a lot, she had an operation because she had a gold stone. Mm. And I said, okay, but I can't see it mentioned on your document. And she told me, yeah, because the guy in the bank that gave me the policy never asked me the question. Hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? So basically, the insurer provider took her not knowing that she had a gold stone. So she's been paying for something. For something. And if she needs to claim, it will be ineligible. Yeah, because she did not mention that she had the gold stone. And she didn't mention it because she wasn't asked. That's it. Because she wasn't advised, it was only recommended to That's her. That's it. Uh -huh. Because what happened is, you see when you buy an insurance policy, they will send you all the documents and there will be a paper where they will ask you if anything is incorrect there please correct it write to us and send it back to mm. us so be, after you've been recommended they now give it to you but unfortunately a lot of people they do not read papers they're like okay, too oh, many. yeah i can't help too many it. pages i've done it i have it i'll leave it there and that's a huge mistake because, because be pain if, and yeah be no pain. the good thing is when you've got an advisor Either you read it or not, you can point finger at somebody. Somebody, not an organization, but somebody. That somebody can be me. I'll be more than happy to have as many people pointing fingers at me because I know I always make sure I do ask the proper question and I always put down the information. Now, the difference is this. If there is complication of claim for non-disclosure, yeah, of information that a client gave me that I did not put in is my fault. And Unisure will take full responsibility of that. So the family still will have a payout. Now, if it goes that you have to fight with the whole organization, which is the bank, it will take forever. And that's a huge difference that a lot of people do not know. Number one, we give you at a better rate. Number two, we advise, we do not recommend. Number three, we put everything on paper. So tomorrow, when there is a problem, there is a paper there to show where he was tick, how the form was filled. So it's organized, you know. And I've always said that a lot of, like, every day we meet people, and especially, I love when somebody told me, oh, I've got my insurance from the bank. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm excited. When so anybody that gave me an appointment after having an insurance from the bank, I've always left the house, leaving them with a fantastic peace of mind. Last year, I'll give you a simple example. I went with, uh, to a client with my boss, with uh, my MD, Mr. Ralph Nerdlock. Shout out to him. I went to a client, and uh, we were trying to put insurances in place. And the client was complaining, oh, it's a bit expensive and all that. He's a farmer, and he's self-employed. And we told him, look, flex faces, sir. You, today, you cut one of your finger, or you have an accident. You can't do what you're doing anymore. How do you pay for your mortgages? How do you take care of your house? How do you take care of your expenses? He's like, oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. Okay, yeah, put that policy in place. But it was £29. I think. He said, oh, £29 is a little bit expensive. And then when we finished, he had dogs. And we said, oh, we love your dogs. He said, oh, by the way, uh, can you help me save money on my pet insurance? And uh, my boss asked him, okay, how much do you pay for your pet insurance? And he goes, oh, I pay £95. <laughs> and, you know, he was comfortable paying the £95 while... He argued on protecting his own income. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? And then we told him, hold on, hold on a second. You pay £95 to cover your dogs. Okay, say we don't give you that income protection. And then tomorrow you've got an accident and you can't work. How would you insure your pets? And he had no answer. He was like, oh my God, I didn't see it that way. Mm. And he said one thing that really triggered us. He said, oh... This guy didn't advise me properly. I think I'm going to do business with you and I'm going to recommend. He recommended to us the whole line of firms of people working around him. And I'll tell you one thing. We've got it on last year, only 128,000 people covered the income. And 457,000 pets were insured. So we have more pets insured than individuals. We wow. need to work on that. 
You know, there's a lot of self self-employed people out there that do not have a look at. They don't think about it until it happens. Do, do, do you know what I think? I think that it's because maybe because a lot of these things are recommended, mm. so people don't really understand. Mm. What you don't understand, you don't tend to buy. But I think you've gave, given us some very good examples today. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's made me actually think, and I know that some of the people listening to us mm. will give it a second thought. Mm. I know your number is going to be flashing on, on our screen soon. So in yeah. case anyone wants to contact you yeah. directly and ask you, is, is there a charge to ask you a question? Oh, no, 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 it's free of charge. It's, it's free, free of charge, yeah. People want to see you, they can just yeah. call you, text you. That's another advantage. Okay. It's not 0845 number or all this payable number. It's a mobile phone. You can hit me on 075-83-032262. Text me, WhatsApp, Twitter, at uh, Cedric OC. Hit me on Facebook, Cedric Premier. And uh, we've got a website as well, www.unishow.co.uk. And uh, you can hit me in any of those places. But the best place is my mobile number because my mobile number is always with me. So if I miss you, I'm probably with a client or on a meeting. And I'll get back to you straight after. But that's another advantage. Because mm -hmm. you're on a road, you say you meet somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You as my client, for example. Mm -hmm. You meet someone that tells you, oh, I need an insurance. Mm -hmm. you, oh, yeah, 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 I've got an advisor. Oh, can I have his number? Oh, yeah, I can even call him now. But if mm -hmm. you took it from the bank, what would you do? The person say, oh, my God, I think it's good for me to take insurance. He said, oh, no, go to the bank. What if the person doesn't bank with you? What if the person wants to have advice just like you? Do you understand what I'm saying? Instead of calling the 0845 number, call my mobile, and then you get help, as many help as you want. Okay, yeah. all right, fantastic. You know, you know what's gonna happen now? We're gonna go for a short break. Mm -hmm. But when we come back, mm. I'm sure we have more questions for you. Mm. And if you have any questions, come through by email mm. or by phone, we'll yeah. take them. So no we're going problem. for a very brief break, and we'll be back very soon. Thank you. Stay tuned. Yeah. Women, Africa, celebrate. African women, African queen. The nominations are in. The time is now. The prestigious Women for Africa Awards has arrived. taking place on Saturday the 9th of May 2015 at the Great Hall, Kensington, London. For more information, visit www.womenforafrica.com. Okay, we're back, and I hope you all enjoyed our guests and the adverts, because that's a phenomenal show coming up, Women for Africa, Saturday 9th of May, Great Hall, Kensington. Please be there, get your tickets if they're still available. Back to our guest, Cedric. Mm -hmm. Wealth of knowledge, I like what you said, but I noticed something about you. Mm. There's a twang to the way you speak. You, English is not your first language, is it? Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's so, not. what is your first language? French. French. Okay. Yeah. I speak French. I speak Lingala because I'm originally from Congo. You speak Lingala. You speak French. Yeah. You speak English. Yeah, a little bit of Portuguese, Portuguese, but just Four. a little bit. Yeah. So, 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 so you've, got, you've got your languages. <laughs> <laughs> does that help you sell? Uh, it does help me help. Yeah, it does help because I have different range of clients I can deal with. You know, different range of people. Plus, I've got a big team. I've got team in my team. I've got people that speak different sort of languages: Pakistanis, English. I've got Nigerian as well. I've got French speaking. You know, I always make sure. You know, we have everybody around to help as many people as we can. You know, we're just trying to make sure we educate as many people as we can. And you know, we like the one-stop shop. We do all sort of insurances. We do income protection. We do life and critical. We do home insurance, we do private medical insurance, we're gonna start doing pet insurance, gadget insurance. Stop. I don't want you to sell to us. I want to know 
what with all those things you've mentioned mm -hmm. or what benefit mm. is it to our viewers okay so you've given me a really good example mm -hmm. at the beginning mm -hmm. and i really really like that mm -hmm. and that is a clear way to keep money within the family i think the example around the trust was mm -hmm. that was that was the best one mm, thank you and I, i'll be honest I knew about it already, mm. but I wanted you to really explain it because sometimes when you say things and the words have no meaning, people don't take it in. It's like mm. trust. What, what's a trust? Mm. You really have to break into, well, what's in it for me? Why do I need a trust? Mm. But then you've, you've shown a very good example there. I really like that. Mm. Is there any other product you have that can keep finances within the family before we move to the other definition, because I have another definition which mm -hmm. relates to the business club. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I want to know, from Unishaw's mm -hmm. point of view, mm. do you have another product? Or, let me flip it on its head. Suppose there's someone out there mm. that says, you know what, um, at the moment, I'm not employed, mm -hmm. I'm not self-employed, mm -hmm. therefore, I cannot pay for one of these policies, or, I'm employed, but my income is limited. Mm -hmm. Therefore, as far as I'm concerned, I cannot pay for one of these policies, but I do have a network of a thousand people, or I have a network of 5,000 people. Mm -hmm. How can that person work with you or with Unishaw to grow their finances to make sure that their finances stay within their family mm. and that they can spread this same message to their whole network. Okay. There is uh, one thing we do. We are recruit and train people as well. We do recruit. We've got a fantastic trainer. Okay. Uh, her name is Stella. Okay. And uh, if we believe you have a good network of people, what we can do, we can train you to become an insurance advisor. And uh, then from there, when we believe that you do qualify, I will monitor you from some time to make sure you have follow the FCA rules, you treat customer fairly, you do your job properly. And when I'm happy, when the MD is happy, when the company is happy with your performances, when I sign you off and then you can freely advise people around your network. Look, it's th th then you can freely make money because make, yeah, you because, can make because, money because the primary interest <laughs> of that person <laughs> will be to is, make money. Is look, the reason why I haven't got this policy because I haven't got enough money. Yes. I want the policy, mm -hmm. but I need to pay unless you're going to give me for free. Yeah. If you're not giving it for free, yeah. I want to make money. Yeah. Well, yeah, it happens, you know. I met people sometimes, dynamic people that I believe can do a good job. Because, you know, I look at all these things. I believe in potential. I believe in people being dynamic. And when I see that you're dynamic and you can help, because, you see, we don't see ourselves as salespeople. We don't sell anything, you know. When somebody recommends you something or tell you, or oh, buy it, that's kind of a sell. We tell you the reason why you need it. We come to, you know, I've always said, one day somebody called me, oh my God, said, we were talking with you, he said, you know what, you're a fantastic salesman. I looked at him. I asked him, what did I sell to you today? He said, he just sold me the insurance. I said, no, I did not sell you anything. I advised you on what was good for you. You saw the needs. You saw the importance and you took it. You just took it because you know that tomorrow, if something goes wrong, you can hold me responsible. So mm. I'm not selling you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. We make sure we advise. I don't know if you understand. Yes, mm. anybody that wants to make money and believe that they've got a good, huge network can contact me still on my mobile number, 075-8303-2262. And if I give them the training, the trainers tell I also give them a training. And if we believe you do qualify to become FCA regulated and you could do become a good advisor, yeah, we give the opportunity. That's something that is there as well. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Um, we've got a question mm -hmm. that's come through on Twitter, so I've been, I've been monitoring it very carefully. Okay. And someone is asking here, they're saying, um, if I if I have an insurance policy, if I have an insurance policy 
with another company, how easy is it to change to Unishow? Okay. Uh, now, first of all, it's quite easy. But it's a decision, a decision that has to come from the client. Mm -hmm. Because under FCA rules and regulation, we're not allowed to advise client to cancel an existing policy. Okay. What we do, we present to you okay. a better deal for yourself, for the family. We explain to you about the trust and we let the client make the decision on if they want to keep both policies or if they want to keep the Unisho poli the policy offered by Unisho. That's the client choice. But it's quite easy. It's just a continuity. Say, for example, a client said, oh, I'm more comfortable going with Unisho. Yes, they come with us. We carry on covering them and we give them the best possible product. You know, that's what I'm saying. We advise. We tell you, okay, look, this is what we have. Say, for example, I'll give you a small scenario. I went to see a client that has... Um, how much was his cover? It's got 320 something, no, 380,000 pound of life cover. Okay. He was paying 58 pounds okay. for the same 380 something thousand that he had. Uh -huh. I was able to put him something there for um, 39 pounds. Okay. And he's like, wow, but why is it different? Like that? I say, yeah, because as an advisor, we get a better rate. And straight away, say, okay, do you know what? I don't mind paying 50 pounds. What can you give me for 50 pounds? And he, it turns out that he was, I think, half a million pounds. And he was still paying less than what he had before. And I told him, this is what I can put on the table. He said, yes, sir, I want to go for it. But how is that? How is that possible? How is that possible? Hmm. Well, the most important thing for any individual is to have an insurance. Whether you come with us or you go with another provider or the bank, the only difference is, like I said, we advise. It's possible because you can change insurance's company as many times as you want, as long as you read on the term and condition that it covers you from day one. Because some company, as client always tell me, uh, they have to contribute for some time before you get a payout. And most of the company we work with, they put you on risk from day one. As soon as you accept it, as soon as we key in the details and the computer says yes, the person is covered two, three, four days, God forbid anything happened, we pay out. So it is possible. You can change. If you're not happy, it's like if you ask me today, okay, uh, how can I change my car? Hmm. What do you do if you want to change your car? You go to a dealer, you say, okay, I've got this car, but I like this car. I want this car. You change your car. It's the same thing. Is The only difference is this. Say, for example, you bought a policy, and it happens to me. You bought a policy, you were clean, no medical hmm. condition. Then I come to you. You do have a medical condition. There is a chance that we can decline you, that we can say, okay, no, we can't take you because of this or that. Then in that case, I would personally advise you, look, you've got that policy. I can offer you something better, but because of your condition, you have less chances. When you have that policy, nothing will happen to you before. No, okay, keep the policy. And I'll just tell you, look, make sure you put it on the trust. And I'll push you to do that. Because I'm not just there to offer product. I'm also there to help people understand what they have. You've used that word twice, that trust. Yeah. So I, th I think um, sometime in the future we're going to come back and actually look around the education mm. of our community because if people don't understand mm. the instruments mm. that are available, they will never use them Yeah. because they don't even know those instruments exist. Mm. And I think you've used that word trust twice. Yeah. I understand how to use a trust yeah. in some property transactions, yeah. but listening to you today, I think yeah. there's something in there that we really need to shed a lot of light on. You see, I'll, I'll help you on one thing, Sam. You see, the only reason why, and that's why I like you, that's why I like the way you do things, is the business club, trying to put people together, trying to make people work for one another, trying to make people buy and sell to each other. The biggest problem we have is this. Most of the time, because Cedric is an individual, people will think the bank will not offer me. Cedric cannot offer me something better than the bank. But I can challenge any viewer tonight that had a policy bought in the bank to give me an appointment to let me have a review on what they have. And I am sure with my advice, with what I can put on the table, they will be amazed. 
there will be. Because, mm. because at the end of the day, I come back to what we said, I will advise, I will not only recommend. I like that, that, that sounds very yeah. confident. Well, and I think, and I hope that everyone out there listening yeah. does give you a call mm. because um, it will be a shame to overspend and have a lesser product. Yeah. Knowing fully well that there are people like you out there that can cut the costs and give advice as opposed to recommendations. I really feel that those are the key words today. Thank you. I've heard about that you've used the word trust. Mm -hmm. You've used recommendation. No, advice. Recommendation from the bank side. Okay, yeah. And <laughs> advice from <laughs> <to> your, <laughs> your side. Yeah. I, I, I like that. So, so, uh, so and, and you've also used um, one of the cardinal points, treating customers fairly. fairly yeah. that, that is so important because in business, people sometimes feel they're not treated fairly. And mm. that's because they're not given all the information or they're not advised correctly. Yeah. But the fact that you're saying these things, it gives a, a gentle assurance that we're in the hands of a responsible, competent professional. Okay. And, and that then means that if anything, at the very least, mm -hmm. we should be able to give you a call, hear from you, and find out if this is the type of person you would want to do your 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 insurance. Yeah, I, I think so. One thing one thing I I will tell you on that is um, we need to start giving each other a chance. Okay. A few years back, when you came to me, told me about the project you had. I looked into it. I thought about it, and I said to myself, "Yeah, that's my brother. That's a big project for our community." I'm in. I was in to see. I believed in it. But I was still in to see. Until I see how you put people together, how you work on the project, and I realized that, wow, he's doing something great for our community. I want to be part of it. I gave you the chance. A lot of us people around, what we do is we overlook at each other. And sometimes that's how we miss an opportunity. There was a story like that in the Bible where there was um, the lady that wanted to feed God. And she said, oh, God, you never visit me and all that. And God said, okay, I'm going to come to you tonight. God came in three types of form as a beggar, as um, I forgot the other two, but he, he came in three types of form. And she rejected him because she wanted to see God himself. And the next day, no, it's true. And the next day she was, oh, but you said you were going to come. He said, I came to your house three times yesterday. And you never opened. She did not give a chance to free people. Hmm. Because she wanted to see God. But God said, yeah, but I came. It's like, say for example, today, sorry, you get something recommended to you. Hmm. And then the guy said, oh, yeah, you can have that, you can have that, you can have that. Oh, tell me more about it. All I know, uh, this will do this, this will do that. And then on the back side, when you come out of the bank, for example, you got your brother that calls you, oh, hi, Sam. Uh, you know, Sam, I just want to have a review and have, make sure that your insurance is in. Oh, no, don't worry, I've done that already. I have it with my bank, it's all covered. You would speak with confidence because the bank is where your money goes. So you would believe that everything that they offer, it's standard. When it comes to insurance, mm. Things are a little bit different. Mm. You see, people always say, oh, I need to read the term and condition. Which means you don't need, I am the term and I'm the small print. Mm -hmm. Because any question that you have, I, I'm sure, or must be able to answer. Okay, I, I like what you're saying, because if I'm going to summarize it, mm. I think one of the last things you said now is, as a community, mm. and one of the reasons why we have great business platforms and we have the business hour mm. is because we're trying to outreach to people wherever they are. Mm. We've used this platform on Fusion Plus because we know you can watch us on your phone, you can watch us on your iPad, your Androids, you can watch us anywhere in the world. But more importantly, we can disseminate key information that can actually change the way you do your business. So the last time we were here, we broke everything down around property. And by the way, that will be back again soon. We have so many other people queued up. Today, 
we're speaking all things around keeping the finances in your home and we are actually showing you and we have an expert in-house who's showing us and he has used keywords such as trust he's a key advisor as opposed to recommendations and you're also saying that in this same community people sometimes mistake huge environments or huge buildings for the right thing so you're saying that for example because a large organization i'm not going to use any specific name mm. but a large organization that says this is the way to do it mm. therefore because they're large they must be right but you're saying that it doesn't have to work that way mm. your better interest could actually lie mm. with a smaller organization mm. a smaller professional mm. but someone who actually cares about your needs mm. and what you're also saying from that example you gave is that sometimes because people expect that the bigger you are mm. the more correct you must be mm. is the wrong way that's the, that's the analogy yeah. you gave i'll give you a very simple example okay. to help uh, our london office is in uh, 25 canada square okay in canaya wolf and um i walk through i walk i bumped into somebody a uh, md of one company i won't say the name of the mm -hmm. company and we had a chat and he told me, oh, what do you do? I said, I'm an insurance broker. I do offer fantastic financial services. And he said, oh, we, will, we got all that cover. And he named a bank that did it for him, for him and his employee. And I said, okay, why don't you let me have a look at it? And he told me, oh, I think, well, you'll be nice to me. I don't mind how you having a look at it, but I don't think you're going to save me any money on whatever I have. He pays, I think, twelve, no, 18,000 pounds a year for all the insurances of, the, of his group. We managed bringing down to 12,000 pounds with more benefit. So you maintained? We increased the benefits. You increased the benefits. We decreased the price. You decreased the cost. The cost. He was shocked. He was like, but how did you do it? I said, well, I've just presented to you. And I came, it was the time of the renewal, and the guy said, okay, uh, somebody was going to propose something, and he showed it to me, and I said, okay, I'll beat that. And it happened. So he gave me a chance because he liked me. But then he realized that liking me just saved him £6,000 a year. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You know what? We, we could actually speak about this forever. Mm. But you won't believe it. We've almost run out of time. Oh, uh, that's fine. But, but importantly, for our viewers, there's some things that are important. Mm -hmm. Now, what you've said and what you talk about, we flashed your number on the screen, mm -hmm. your email's up as well. Yeah. And for other people that might be interested in meeting you, I am proud to say that you are a member of our business club. So this whole GBP, this broadcast that's coming to you and the physical clubs that exist, if you want to meet him without paying, then all you need to do is come to our club and you can have access to this amazing resource of advice. And I really do implore people out there that it, it, it takes nothing off for you to ask for a second or third opinion, especially when you're dealing with someone that is qualified and authorized to actually do this, and this is his day and night job. So let's not assume that we have it. Let's do a review. Let's make sure that everything we've got we review we review our insurances, we review our health, we review the things we do, we review our clothes. So please, these things are very important and we need to make sure that our finances stay locked within our families. And to do that, we recommend that you do review your insurances and one of the options, one of the ways you can do it is our guest here tonight, Mr. Cedric. You're free to go anywhere else as well, but we have him in-house and he also is a member of our club so you know that all you need to do is contact him or come to a club meeting and you can get as much information as you like okay we have about two minutes left mm. what would you like to say to our viewers in the next 120 seconds okay dear viewers thank you very much for listening and for watching what i want to tell you to finish is this i'm a personal qualified expert insurance advisor I will make sure that I maintain a good financial protection plan for yourself and your family if the fear of the unknown happens. Remember one thing, 
insurance is important because if everybody knew when something will happen to them, I will be unemployed today. Make sure you invite me if you want to do a review on the existing policy. You can hit me up on 075-83-032262. My email is up on the screen as well. If you do have a policy, that's fine. I still can come, have a look at it, make sure that everything is in place. Make sure that you have the peace of mind. My name is Cedric Ousi. I want to come and give you a peace of mind. Hit me up and you won't be disappointed. Thank you very much. Okay, just before we finish, mm. we have one more okay. message that's come through. It says, changing my policy halfway through and the duration is a year. Yeah. Do I have to pay the balance? No. The duration is one year. It depends on the policy. Depends on the policy. Okay, yeah. so we haven't got that. All you know is Twitter. Yeah, no, it's very no. sure. It's yeah, it depends. It depends on, on the policy. policy. So, so what I'll say to this uh, Twitter follower, mm. please contact us. Yeah, contact. Yeah, and Cedric Show will give you that information. Okay. So, thank you for tweeting in, and that is I am DJ, DJ Show Show. Thank you. Thank you. We have a call as well. So we have one more call coming in last minute. So let's okay. take this call. Hello, caller. Good evening. Yeah, my name is Amos. Hi, Amos. Yeah, good evening, uh, Sam, and good evening, Cedric. Good evening. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm fine. Um, my question is, um, how can, um, you know, everybody has got gadgets. We have the uh, iPad, iPhone, ID, iPad. Do, does the insurance package cover all this? Because, of course, we do lose them, sometimes they get damaged, and uh, of course we do have banks and all the other institutions working, um, to ensure those gadgets. Um, what is the best policy that we can do, and um, how can we benefit from, from this? Anyway, this is Amos, and thanks for this wonderful platform. I was just calling every week. Wish you guys a wonderful time. And then to those who are in Wimbledon, please join us at Great Business Platform and let's make it um, a wonderful time. Thank you and have a lovely evening. Bye. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Amos. Did you get that question? Yeah, I get the question. Okay. Well, it depends. If you have a lot of gadgets, we can include it in your home insurance or we can offer you a separate gadget insurance. There is always a way. See, that's one of the questions that I get a lot of time when I do home insurance for clients. Okay. I always look at it and it's like, oh, yeah, but when I bought this and that, uh, this gadget, they wanted me to increase. I say, yeah, we can just do a home insurance with all your gadgets included inside. And uh, if they're mobile, so you go anywhere with your gadget, the gadgets are covered. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. We really have to stop. We're out of time. Yeah. So viewers out there, thank you so much for tuning in. It's the Great Business Platforms. Remember... It doesn't stop here. You can visit our website even this evening at www.greatbusinessplatforms.com. You can come to our next business club meeting, which is on Thursday, the 26th of March, just next door to 805 Restaurants on Old Kemp Road. If you're in Northwest London, come to Mama Africa or Watford Way. If you're in Southwest London, come to LWP on Hayden Road. And if you're in Milton Keynes, come to the Agora Centre. We want you to join us. Please join us tonight and we look forward to seeing you next time. Good night and thank you for watching. Women, Africa, celebrate. African women, African queen. The nominations are in. The time is now. The prestigious Women for Africa Awards has arrived. Taking place on Saturday, the 9th of May, 2015, at the Great Hall, Kensington, London. For more information, visit www.womenforafrica.com.
Badu Magazine, Africa's number one magazine with the best entertainment in the UK. Essential information on business opportunities, latest happening in the entertainment scenes, student parties, house of worship conferences, and much more. For advert placement and business listings, we are equally your number one. Get your copy now at our website at badumagazine.com and various outlets in and around Nigeria, UK, USA, and Canada.